Welcome to Solitaire, where we tackle the random game. Let's uh, play. I like to go for uh, columns first, obviously, and uh, I want to be careful with these two, but we'll we'll make the moves there. Interesting choice. Two red queens. I'm going to move the king and see what's underneath there. Okay, let's see. Nine. We can move the three there. <clears throat> okay, interesting choice here. We could open the column up. Or we could play for this column here, which has a lot of cards under it. I don't know which is better, but uh, we're going to try one. So that's interesting. If we had a red 8, that could be a critical spot. I'm going to leave it for now, and we'll see how this develops. So I'd like to save that first card as insurance, so I'm going to hold on to the at. Uh, just so we can try to get an extra move. Though I'm tempted to move. I don't like moving these low cards, especially late, but I'm going to try it real... You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna take it back. We'll see how the rest of. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play it at some point. There's a seven. That's important. We can play that. Yeah, I'll I'll play these. I like to play out of the back of the draw pile first, and then work my way to the front. Uh, just typically, it would open up more, more moves. It's a little conservative, but you want to try to look at every card. Let's see, there's a five. We can't play that. So I will move this two here. And the reason for that is there's an ace and a three. So that's an okay move at this time. So I'm going to play one more card in front of that. I'm going to play this jack here. And we've got two queens, so it doesn't really matter if there's another jack uh, for placement and stuff like that. We'll play ace of clubs here. And now we can play the two of clubs and three of clubs. So I'm making some progress. Now, if I remember correctly, that was a 9. So we're looking for a red 8, potentially. I don't know if there is one in here. The red 2 is going to be a problem. Uh, this is a problem because we can't get to the 10. The red 10, unless we were to swap out the 6 here. So this may be a reconstruct. Well, there is a... Yeah, we need a red 10, don't we? I'm going to have to come up with something here. Let's uh, let's do one thing at a time here. This was a 9, I believe, right? Yeah, there's a 9 there. Yeah, some, some of these games are a little tricky, so we'll see if we can figure this one out here. So, yeah, I can't get to the red 10. There is a 6. There's a red 10. We can play that potentially, or do we overplay? There's a, oh, this is a big card here. Five of diamonds. Now we can play this four. Interesting, interesting. So this is basically saying, you know, we should probably play... There's the red eight. That's eight we're looking for. The other option is to play this king. And we move this queen here. That might be a choice, too. I might have gone a little too fast. I'm going to have to figure out where that... Eight is, which I didn't do all the way. So it looks like that eight. We need to play one less card here. So we're gonna go back. So we play the five. We play the six. We don't play the jack. We'll play the jack next time around. That's part of the managing the draw pile thing. That's easier said than done. So we come back. We play the five. And well, the five doesn't matter there. But we gotta now. We can play the eight. Well, we can't. What am I missing? Oh, you know what? We're not even at the 8 yet. We need this 10 down. Oh, no, we can get to the 8. We need to... Let's go back one more here. There's the 8 right there. I totally missed that move. I apologize. So let's see where this takes us. There's the eight. That's the card we're looking for there. I'm going to put the seven there, and we got two nines. Interesting, interesting. Let's play this five, and let's see if we can make this angle work. If we can't, we'll try a different angle. And that might be what's going to happen here. We're not going to be able to get to the red ten, but there is another red ten right here. So we got... We got Two different nines. 
I can plant it as 10. So let's see where one of these leads us here. 985, dead end. Close, but dead end. Let's try this one right here. Ace of Hearts, a big card. A king, that's a really big card because that's going to open up two different options. We have two different kings we can play. So let's try this king first. Five of clubs, does it give us an open column? No. Close, but no. Now the good news is there's a two of hearts in here, so we can play this three of hearts. So we may just uh, postpone until that spot. This is good, though. We can move that. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I'm going to put that back. We can play for sure the four of clubs right now. Ace of diamonds we can play. That's big. We can play that there. I think that's going to be the path. I think we can do some stuff here the next uh, time around. So let's go back here again. Yeah, so uh, this card, we want to manage the draw pile as well. That's the big part. It's easier said than done. So I'm just going to play this two hearts here. I'm not going to play the diamond yet. And the reason for that is because there is a red 10 next underneath it. We're going to want that red 10 down so we can play this other 9. And then we'll get to the two of diamonds, and hopefully, I think we can solve this. Let's see, there's a jack there. We can play this ten. Another king right there. Okay. So let's go back. And, I mean, the real big problem is we're not going to be able to get to this. So we want to watch this column with the clubs. We're going to want to focus on hearts and spades, potentially, or diamond spades combo to open up if we need to open up one of these uh, other columns. So 10 goes there, 9 here, oh, 8, 7, that's good. We can, oh, nice, we can play this. And got to be careful, but I think this is going to be the right play to move this here because now we can move the spades, the spades as well. And again, we're looking for a red card, black card combo, potentially. Well, no, there we have the 5 of clubs. So we got everything out of the way here. We just need to put the rest of these cards together. We need to get the Jack of the Hearts uh, to be able to do that. So, we can't play clubs, remember, because there's a six of clubs here. And I think we can play, let's see, diamonds. Yeah, we have to make a ch choice between diamonds and hearts. So, I'm going to go uh, diamonds, diamonds and spades are the two we're going to be looking at here. So, let's see. No, we don't. I might have to go hearts. Well, we don't have the. We do have a heart here. Let's play this card here. Oh, there's the diamond. There's the di That's the nine of diamonds we wanted. So maybe we can make this work here. Ten of diamonds. And let's see here. We need to go hearts. But the six of hearts is right here. So I think we need to go back to the drawing board and figure out a way to get to the six of hearts. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, so we're back in this spot. I think we're going to let the Six of Hearts go here. And then we'll figure out this rest of this on another uh, setup here. So, eight goes here. There's the Five of Hearts. So we go through again. And again, this comes back to managing the draw pile, like I said. And I also said it's easier said than done, as you can see right there. I didn't do the best job there. I think that's a 10. We can't touch that 10. So we can put a diamond there. And then we'll go back to playing that sequence. I, and I think we have this extra card that might be enough to get us over the top. We'll see. I'm going to run these cards up to the foundation pile there. So seven of hearts, eight of hearts. We can also play diamonds. We're going to be playing spades. Obviously, we don't have the six of clubs, so we're going to have to figure out a way uh, to make this work here. Mm, we're going hearts. Yeah, we're going hearts. So ten of hearts right there. Jack of hearts. There's the queen. There's the six of clubs. 
And that's going to be the rest of this, I believe. So we'll pull this 10, 9. We can pull the 8 there. We'll pull the jack and pull the 10 and we'll get it done. Pretty cool, huh? Got that one done. Uh, it's not the hardest in the world, but not the easiest. I figured out a way to, to get around that at the end. Hopefully I was able to, to show you a trick or two there. Uh, if not, uh, we do have a few uh, tip videos, links in the description below. Uh, there's a solitaire tips playlist on this channel. And if you just like watching random games, there's a Let's Play Solitaire playlist as well. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and wish you good luck.